Well, I'm really lucky. I've got great colleagues and great friends that are available to me and willing to listen. And, and my, my work family and friends are huge supports to me because they understand they're going through very similar things. And we do talk about it. When the pandemic initially uh, hit, um, you know, there was a lot of unknowns and a lot of things that we didn't know. So I stayed home and um, um, I do enjoy food quite a bit. Uh, I find joy in eating. Um, and, um, and I have a, you know, one heck of an appetite. I bought a spin bike. Um, so there's always that. And I mean, I've always advocated for exercise and mental health. Um, I've recently taken up meditation. It's been a little hard. Um, my friends and family who are not physicians or healthcare workers also help um, me a great amount. I've built meditation back into my daily routine in the morning and at night. Well, definitely staying active. Um, and I, I make sure I have kind of hobbies outside of work. Um, you know, whether that be, you know, just doing housework or, you know, a little bit of DIY projects and stuff like that. I enjoy doing that around the house. Um, I also make sure I stay active at my gym um, to just kind of work out the stress of the days um, because that stress can kind of build up and, and, you know, by staying active and, things like that. Um, it uh, keeps that, that mental health in check. I think it's really important to realize that, you know, this kind of a very stressful ongoing life needs a bit of a healthier um, lifestyle. And as a physician, I should know better and I should be healthier. And You know, just from outside of work, I just feel uh, I need to take a responsibility to try and isolate myself from other people, including my family, and my friends and antidepressants was a new thing that happened this year and i'm pretty sure i'm not the only healthcare worker that this happened to it's been a very rough year for all of us just knowing my family from out of town in calgary they're not able to join i can't see my brothers my sister-in-law, my nieces and nephew, you know, it's tough. I just, I feel like I could make that decision to go ahead and spend some time with some family members, you know, less than five people, but I just want to make sure everyone is safe. And I would, I'd be so devastated if I ever put a, a family or friend at risk. What happened with me mostly was I was getting very angry, um, enraged over the smallest things. Um, and then I'd go from being absolutely enraged to feeling very low and just sad and uncontrollably crying. And then there would come the panic attacks. And so now that I'm more Steady, I feel like I can sit through and just think about things. I feel like they, because I'm not always reacting right away or instant rage over something. So I'm able to be like, okay, well, this is what this means. All right. And I'm trying to stay as active as I can being outside, um, taking all the precautions. I've had to stop going to the gym but I'm finding ways of working out at home or being outside that are trying to balance out my physical health. And I'm feeding the birds. <laughs> we started feeding the birds in our backyard and it's actually a beautiful way to uh, enjoy the little things that are all around us. And I'm practicing gratitude for those things as well. And, you know, and having just, you know, good friends around, um, obviously, you know, we don't connect on a, you know, maybe level we used to, but we, we definitely are able to reach each other by phone or by text or at any time. And I think we feel like we have this kind of we're all in this together mentality. And, uh, and I really like that with my coworkers and stuff like that. COVID's all around us. And so to actually create net breaks where you're not in your phone, you're not on your laptop, you're not talking about the news, you're not talking about COVID. It's actually been a nice, nice break for me and my family. And uh, I think we're going to keep up the new, the new hobby.